Normally, I was trying to start doing a weekly live stream, as you all know. However, Lauren's got a flight in the morning, so I figured, I know you guys like her having, you know, Lauren being on online with us, so I figured we could have one before she flies out. She's going to San Francisco tomorrow for a week, go spend time with her family, and hopefully do some work stuff, I think, right? Of, of course. <laughs> of course I'm going to work. This is the no, main reason the why I'm going there. You're a liar. Look, so, uh, yeah, I mean, we do have a topic to talk about. I'm trying to, like, whenever we do the live streams, find something to kind of talk about. But I figured today we, we, we peel back the curtain a little bit and talk about something, especially recently, that's happened. That, I mean, I've noticed for years. However, it's something that is kind of like, it's, it's not even just a content creator thing. It's just like an industry thing that happens in all industries. I've seen it even when I worked in entertainment. And it's something that a lot of people may not be privy to, and it's also interesting to talk about. But we'll give it a minute, wait for the people to come in, and then we'll go ahead and start talking about it. But of course, as you guys are coming in, hit that like button. I'd really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, let me know where you guys are coming in from. I'd really appreciate that too. You guys coming in from out of the country, you're coming in from another state, let me know. Nibbles, what's going on? AJ Rainey, Southern California. Yeah, Lauren will be over there tomorrow. So I know you're excited. Have you been? You haven't been to San Francisco, have you? No, I've never been to San Francisco. That would be my first time ever. By the way, if you have any spot or address that you want to recommend for me, don't do not hesitate to put it here. You're only going to San Francisco, right? Are you flying to LAX? Well, I'm only flying out of San Francisco. Going to LA is going to be a little bit expensive, and it's far away driving. So I'm not trying to drive in California, not too much. Um, so we're going to mainly stay in San Francisco area. I heard that I can do that. The, um, what is the the prison? Um, what Guantanamo Bay? No. <laughs> Ask Kevin. Ask Kevin. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking about. Uh, Ask Kevin. <laughs> I'm thinking about Guantanamo Bay. I, I'm thinking. I, almost, I, I, oh, thinking, I saw a clip of that movie, Harold and Kumar, earlier. I that's why. I like the prison <laughs> in uh, in uh, in Harry Potter. That's and you said Ask Kevin. That's so funny. The, yeah, uh, that's why. Yeah. Anyway, um, let's see. Got, I can't trust. It's not Ask Kevin. <laughs> yes, Alcatraz. <laughs> <laughs> All over the place right now. I'm sorry, guys. Anyway, we got Dallas, Louisiana, Orlando. Did I see Thailand? Yeah. Wow. Is it true that in Louisiana, in Louisiana, guys are uh, speak French? Do you guys speak French? Like Cajun French or something like that? I heard that, that Louisiana people speak French. Maybe somebody here can answer that. I mean, I've been a, I've been over there a couple times. I mean, I don't know about. I know it's a French culture. I don't know. I'm not Is sure it? if there's a language they speak. Possibly, I think it's I'm like sure. A, a mix between French and Creole. Yeah. Somewhere, something like that. All right. Let me see. Hold right. on. We got Smyrna Beach. Watch out for those sharks over there. Bradenton. Ooh. Oh, not too far down the street from us. Alcatraz is what they were talking about. Yeah. We, okay. We got Alcatraz. It. Yeah. Not that's Kevin. <laughs> down the street from us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, now look, guys, so here's the situation, right? I've been thinking about this for the past couple days. So the thing is, right, I'm not going to say specifically what it is, but there's, there's a lot of cruise events that go on in, like, South Florida. You guys know I'm, I'm a couple hours away. And there are times where, let's say, for example, you guys know my channel. I, I guess there's times where people would maybe put my, my YouTube channel into the controversial side, potentially. The dark and, side. Yeah, the dark side, right? The... <laughs> Like I would literally say that I'm, I'm the black sheep of cruising, right? I mean, the thing is, I always say this in any industry. They're like, sure, during the pandemic, I was talking about a lot of the, the, the COVID stuff and the shutdown. I told people it was going to happen, the suspensions and all that, right? My intention was never negative, fully positive when it comes to the cruise ship industry. However, even now, right, there were a lot of, um, let's say, content creators that were pretty much nowhere to be found during the pandemic. They were gone. I didn't even know they existed. And then when, when cruising started back up... Here they come because, no offense to them, a lot of them are travel agents, a lot of them just kind of want to put things in a positive light only, which I understand. And me working on, let's say, cruise ships, I always said that I've been tossed into the reality. It's very different than, let's say, me having a love for cruising because it's something that I've always done, if that makes sense. Now, one thing I've noticed is that there's, there's a couple of events that happen in South Florida a lot of the time, cruise events. And, uh, you know, I was like, you know what, I, I, never get, I never get invited to those things, right? So what ended up happening is uh, there was an interview I did, I want to say two months ago. And the interview went great. And then the person that did the interview, they wanted me to, like, start posting certain things on my, my social media platforms. And I told him that I don't do that. It's not really my bag. And I said, you know, he's like, okay, sure, no problem. The next thing I know, he told me he let me know about the invite because there's like some special party or whatever. Uh, I didn't get an invite to the event. I didn't get an invite to the special party. I don't know if you remember I told you about that. Didn't get an invite to it. And then at one point they mentioned me being a speaker at the event and then I, I, I didn't get it. 
And I saw the people that did, and I saw all the postings and everything that went on. And, uh, and for me, it was just kind of like, you know what? I've, I've settled with the fact that I'm not in the cool kids club with the cruise ship industry. But the thing is, I, and Lauren knows this too, for me, I'm not somebody that's trying to get free cruises. I'm not trying to say what I, what I have to say and do what I have to do in order to get into the grooves. You guys know I do a lot of, like, sometimes the cruise lines, for example, they'll invite me to the pre-cruise events, the inaugural, the inaugural events. And, yeah, I'll chit-chat with a lot of people. Some stuff will be kind of like, oh, well, I, I appreciate your work, but I don't really care much for your content. It's stuff like that, right? And one thing I've noticed is that you guys know I do a lot of cruise news. And one thing that I've, I've been very open and honest about is that, first of all, I'm not running around watching a bunch of other content creators make content. For me, naturally, I do get notifications for, let's say, Royal Caribbean Blog, Cruise Hive, a lot of news stations. So whenever they get all the information and they put out articles on it, yes, I'll look at all of those articles and I'll try to look at multiple copies of said articles in order to form what exactly is going on. I do it to the best of my ability. Some updates will come out, I'll put out an update. But then when I put a video on what's going on, let's say I do like a video a day, I'll automatically be put in the category of being negative. And I'm like, you know what? And again, there's no shade on anybody else, Royal Caribbean Blog, Cruise Hive, you name it, any of the people that are putting out the publications. It's just crazy to me that when I, when I talk about these things, because I, I don't have a team of 10 writers to make 50 articles every day, I'm, I'm considered like a negative channel. I'm like, dude, everybody's doing news. Where do you think I got these sources from? It's, 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 it's just interesting to me. And it doesn't change my perspective on what I'm doing, but no. it, it, it's, it's wild that I see that. And when the cruise lines are like, oh, yeah, well, we're going to invite this person that's kind of more uh, only positive versus somebody that's maybe a little bit more realistic. But they also invite the people that do a little bit of both. It, it's, think, it's crazy to I me. Think, I think you're right mm -hmm. and you're wrong in what you're saying. And mm -hmm. don't get me wrong. No, no, you're good, I'm yeah. in a whole nother game with TikTok and Instagram. And I'm working a little bit in the industry as well. Not in the cruise ship industry, guys, mm -hmm. but also in the... like influencer type industry and yeah. i understand the game the there's thing, a game to be played that's for the sure thing, the <laughs> thing is the thing is yes of course you saying the truth and you don't sugarcoat mm -hmm. everything which can bother some brands or some agencies of course and yeah. that's a why not every why but that's one of the why you don't get i think invited or something like that but i yeah. also think like when they interview you or where they expect you to invite to invite you somewhere like a private event or something like that, mm. they expect something in return for free. Oh, yeah. yeah like yeah. a video, like a shout out, etc. Et and since you're not on any other platform, not more, not much, yeah, not, not much, too much compared to me, you are, but not, not much. Mm -hmm. And specifically on YouTube, well, they expect you to post twice more because you're only on one platform, mainly. And yeah. the thing is that, for example, with me, whenever I'm working and I get invited to an event, I post them mostly on Instagram because that's what they want. But if they want to, and if I have the possibility, I could also post them on TikTok, on YouTube, on Facebook as well, because I am everywhere mm -hmm. on, on my hand. So I think it's a little bit of both. Like it's a give and take, you know, type to mm -hmm. have a win-win. But I think in their on their hand, it's a little bit wrong to not explain things clearly with you. I mean, they don't owe me an explanation. No, but my my don't only. Need to understand. I agree. And if they I agree. really want to work with yeah. you, they might under they might you know explain stuff. Yeah, to I you. mean the thing is, yeah, and I, and I say it all the time. I should post more on my socials. Like even with a couple of posts, you see, I got what fifty something thousand at on least, Instagram at least on. Worry. At least yeah, worry, fifteen I fifty thousand on Instagram on my two Instagram accounts. One with fifteen thousand, one mm -hmm. with fifty thousand. Yeah, TikTok and all that. I get it. No, my only thing is that I, the people that are still talking about the same stories that I talk about, they're still kind of in the loop. And I'm not... I'm not How are they stay in the loop? Well, they already kind of know. They're in, like I said, they're in the club. How right? they are known uh, at the beginning? Well, they've been around a lot longer and they've kind of, I don't know, maybe proven themselves to a certain extent. They post maybe more on more platforms. Now. Now. No, the ones that I'm talking about, again, I'm not trying to like put people out there and like that. No, they were only on either Instagram first or then they were on only YouTube. But Instagram, like that's I was. what sells it towards the brands and the agencies. Yeah, of course. I, I understand Instagram, that. If one day you want to be on social media, trust me, or if you have a, for example, a mm -hmm. business that you want to expand somewhere, Facebook is great for like a local business, okay? But if you want to expand to the country or even to a certain type of area or extend this, this, expand this area, 
Instagram. TikTok, okay, you can make a couple of videos, but you have to be a real, like really, really invested into TikTok if you want to make this work on TikTok these days. However, yeah. on Instagram, you can still be local. You can still get influencers through your Instagram. There is collaboration posts. There is a lot of things. And to me, Instagram, if you want to have a good image toward the brands and toward the agencies and for future partnerships, you need mm -hmm. to have a clean Instagram where you post often and you give more than you more than you get. Yeah. I mean, I'm not trying to get into the whole social media thing. I'm talking about stuff that I've, I've personally seen and noticed. Yeah. That, even when I was on... Yeah, uh, but these, these work with the... With the yeah, I, I understand. With Which, honestly... Too. No offense, but I do believe Instagram is very simple to figure out. With three posts, I got 50,000 subscribers. And same with Instagram. The news that I do, I could literally shorten it, make it a little bit more, let's say, attention grabby, which is not really that hard to do. And boom, there is the Instagram and there is the TikTok. It, it happens uh, that I way. I don't agree with you because uh, I'm fully mm -hmm. working on those. And mm -hmm. being inside, like, full time, I cannot agree with you, but it's fine. Oh, uh, thing is, look, you're going out of town tomorrow, and I'm going to put a lot of hours, more than I think I've ever had, back into this. So I think you're going to see exactly of what course, I mean. But course. I'm not talking about from a social media end. I'm talking about the other stuff that goes on behind the scenes. Yeah. Because, I mean, even I, I was on a what, Celebrity Ascent. There was a, uh, a guy, a good friend of mine. He was entertainer on board. And we had a conversation about whether my uh, content was negative or not. He's like, oh, yeah, but if you talk about, you know, uh, let's say a man overboard or something like that, sure. But if everybody else is already talking about it, the cruise lines put out a statement. Wouldn't they want people to know that, hey, we've done everything that we can. Here's the situation. We're not trying to kind of put it under the rug. It's, it's, it's interesting. It really is. Yeah, not yeah. true. You had a question before asking mm -hmm. about the, your, the travel agency, I think. Oh, yeah. Somebody was asking, oh, I don't have my own travel agency. No. I mean, down the road, I'm considering it. Right now, I'm too young to be a travel agent, and I like making content. I really do. Uh, let's see, I haven't followed creators because they were given free cruises for the entire video. It was positive, no negative comments or criticisms. Yeah, I've noticed that, but I think since then, there's been a lot of changes here and there. Uh, and I'm not saying it's, it's solely my, my videos that have done it, not even. Uh, but I know a lot of content creators have noticed that people are wanting a little bit more transparency. Because again, I'm not naming anybody uh, specifically, but there are, there are a lot of content creators that were originally kind of all like, hey, we got a free cruise, we're only going to say X, Y, and Z. But then they realized that everybody started turning more so to the people that were being a little bit more transparent and honest. And they started kind of doing it too, which I think is great, honestly, for the industry. Transparency, I think, is key. Now, there is a way to do it, a more professional way to get it done. However, it is kind of the name of the game. And there is a game to be played. Let me see. Uh, people want, only want to hear how good they are. Constructive, constructive criticism is frowned upon, unfortunately. Keep being yourself, Justin. Yeah, no, 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 that's true. And more, more people tend to work with certain type of brands, mm -hmm. more they tend to be over positive on some stuff. That's why whenever you're working with brand or agencies, you need, if it's, even if it's a small brand or no, you need to make sure that it lines up with your way of thinking, your yeah. way of doing things, and they're not trying to sugarcoat your, uh, your, your content because that's not who you are. That's why, you know, you mm -hmm. have different type of influencers, content creators. Yep. You have the one that gets sales with everything and they can literally sell their souls on social media for a little bit of money. And you have the others that are trying to work on a specific type of content and trying to work with a specific brand that go into a line yeah. with their mindset and their followers to make sure that it goes with, uh, with the industry that mm -hmm. they're in. No, that's true. So, so. Is, is Marcus Brown Lee your arch nemesis? MKBHD? No. First of all, that man is in a category of his own. He's just, it's the, I showed you the, so the, there's a guy, right? The black guy that does tech. Mm -hmm. Marcus Brown Lee? No. Oh, yeah, 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 <laughs> this dude yeah. has millions of, in every video he posts, it's like a million. No. Mm -hmm. I like him because he's honest, which is cool. And he still is able to work with Apple and Tesla and all these other companies. Because really cool. he proved the fact that he... Oh, yeah, you got to prove they yourself. Need, yeah. They need him at some point. Uh, question, Hanjay. What's your opinion on ABC Islands as a cruise destination? I think they're good. I haven't been to them. I've only... Look, I've been to them maybe twice, and that was five years ago. And at the time when I did go to the ABC Islands, I was working for Norwegian at the time. Haven't been in a while. I definitely need to go back over there. But, yeah, I mean, from my understanding, and I, I've never really heard anybody complain about going to the ABC Islands, especially Curacao. Question, I missed the topic. Uh, did you get bad feedback or lose a connection? Uh, yeah, I mean, I got invited to a, a cruise event going on in South Florida, and then I didn't hear anything back because they wanted me to post some stuff, and I'm like, eh, that's not really what I do, and, and, and next thing I know, boom, disappeared. 
into the darkness, into the shadow realm, gone. So, I mean, it is what it is. It's kind of part of the game, uh, which I'm not, I'm not trying to be, uh, let's say, a, a crybaby about it. it. It's kind of, in this, let's say, this landscape of social media now, this digital world, a lot of cruise lines, a lot of companies in general around the world, industries, are starting to get hip to the fact of the difference between, let's say, I would say the difference between a content creator and an influencer. Influencer will go where the money goes. They're basically a talking mouthpiece. They will do and say whatever who, or whoever is paying them. They will do whatever is being asked. Do all of their bidding. Or a content creator, and I'm saying this like loosely, will kind of follow their own path of what it is that they want to do, what they want to say, what they want to talk about. So there are just a lot of differences, which I have no problem with either or. You make your money how you make your money. You do what you do. You like there is different type of engineer. There yeah. is different type of, of sellers. There, in our... In our uh, job if yeah. i can say that uh there is different type of influencers that's it yeah that's true very very true uh question to miss oh i already read that one i thought you were now a travel agent is that true yeah 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 but i want to make it very clear i'm not a i'm not a full-time travel agent i'm taking on the clients that i can because obviously running let's say technically i have three channels which i'm trying to get back on top of i've been very transparent about that being the priority over being a travel agent because yes being if you take on too many clients you essentially end up having no life because it is a it's a full-time gig. It is. So, so somebody said, just shy of 60 million channel views, not bad mm -hmm. at all. With Lauren by your side, you will be hit 100 million views. When do you go next to get a YouTube plaque? Oh, yeah. The YouTube plaque is yeah. about the, the subscribers, not the oh. views, I guess. Yeah, it's not the views. It's the, you get 100, 100K, you get your first uh, subscriber plaque, and then you get one at a million, and that's like million. 10 million. Yeah. yeah, yeah. No, that's the plan. That's the plan. Uh, where would you like to see yourself in five years business-wise? That's a good question. I mean, right now, I am enjoying the content creator space. In the Maldives? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, yeah, I mean, no, this business-wise. Uh, we uh, can do business in Maldives. Yeah, uh, the, the, sure. Business-wise, I mean, I would like to continue growing the platform. It would be nice maybe to have an extension, have a couple employees, editors, maybe some writers. We'll, we'll see. I mean, I, I don't have like a set plan. I always believe there's no such thing as the perfect plan. It doesn't exist. You have to kind of have a, a big dream or a big goal. And usually if you're working hard enough and you stick to your plan, you usually get pretty close. For me, as, as far as I've gotten so far, I'm not in a rush right now. I'm saying, okay, well, let's go ahead and, and build to the best of my ability, making sure I'm using all of my energy and time to the best of my ability to put out as much as I possibly can as far as growth. And then I'll see where we're going to take it. But yes, I mean, five years, and eh, I would say in like 10 years, really, I would like to have maybe my own travel agency off to the side or something of that nature going on where I don't have to run around filming everywhere I go. I don't mind in the house, but as far as like maybe vlogs on board, who knows, maybe I'll have a camera crew. We'll see. Time will tell. Yeah, that, that would be better. I have very yeah. vague goals in that department because I'm so busy focused on what's going on right now because I know I could be doing more in the moment. I just have very, let's say, unrealistic goals right now, and I think that's kind of a way you got to go about it. Let's see, question. Have you ever experienced writing a book about your experience with cruise ships? Uh, yeah, I've considered it. Definitely considering it. I mean, it would probably just encompass, like, everything that I've, I've gone through for the most part. You know, I don't know. But, uh, yeah, I've thought about it. But I think, honestly, maybe down the road, I, I believe that maybe I should build a little bit more of my personal reputation before I decide to dive into that. Otherwise, it's going to be me literally every video pitching it to you guys hey buy my book buy my book i don't want to get to that point either so let's see uh i started to cruising more i've done a lot of carnival would you suggest i try next mm, i mean if you like carnival there's nothing wrong with carnival uh, i would say go to one of the two out of the big three or let's say the four uh royal caribbean ncl or msc you can try one of those next if you want to do only then go virgin voyages cj have you seen the youtuber the youtube my ship life is that your dad he looks just like you what I'll have to check it out after this. It's my ship life? Is that what it's called? Ship life. No, seriously, is that what it's called? I'm curious now. Uh, Justin, to be honest, you're not so negative as much as a sensationalist whilst not put not off-putting me. I can see where it might be others in the cruise community. Yeah, I guess. Sensationalizing, yeah. I mean, people are gonna have their opinions on the matter. I, I know that for a fact. However, I do know that if I let's say if I was just monotone and I didn't make things like entertaining or talk about the details or maybe give examples or make jokes, I wouldn't say sensationalizing it, but I've said it and I've joked in my videos, but it's, it's completely honest. People these days in, as a whole have the attention span of a goldfish. If you don't find a way to cap to, let's say, convict people enough to click on your videos and then watch the videos, then yeah, obviously the channel doesn't perform as well. 
but I try, I, I try my best not to like go outside of the spectrum and just kind of make things out and blow it up to some proportion that it's not going to be. But this is content creation. Like I said, there's just there's a game that has to be played, unfortunately or fortunately, depending on how you see it. Uh, let's see, uh, you have a great first name. My first name is also Justin. Yeah, it's, just, it's a simple name. Let's see, uh, what cruise line do you recommend for families? Uh, I mean, I think I don't think NCL gets enough recognition. You like NCL, right? Yeah. For families, I, I mean, might, Carnival. I might, be, I might be like Royal Caribbean. Well, that's the goal too, NCL usually. NCL and then MSC if you don't have like NCL. M money. MSC. Mm. MSC is no MSC. It's... MSC, you get what you get for the price, but if you want to travel with mm -hmm. the family. To be honest, they have great stuff for kids over there, so... Yeah, I mean, MSC, I think, still has to find their way, if we're speaking in terms of an American audience. Yeah, but if you don't have the money to go on Rare Caribbean or NCL, NC, MSC is the, is the go. Yeah, the way to go. I'm, you I'm, would rather go on MSC than on Margarita Real, for example. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, I'm looking at it in terms of maybe, like, the, 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 the difference in cultures that you'll see. Mm -hmm. um, like, imagine your traditional American family going on an MSC cruise. Would they have a great time? Yeah. But as far as the events that take place, it can be a little wonky depending on what it is that you're looking for. If we're looking for streamline, then you go to your, your standards, Royal Caribbean, Carnival, NCL. Mm. Yeah. And on the fact that English is the most difficult language to learn, and I've watched Lauren since you met Lauren, have you? You have mastered English. Not yet, not yet. Wait until <laughs> I, will, I lose my accent. You see this? What? Does, does Lauren have an older sister? Uh, no, I she has have a clone. two. I have two brothers. Yeah, guys, we found on Instagram a French girl who lives in Paris <laughs> who looks like me. Is like, yeah, except it's, it's the fact that creepy. she has green eyes and she's a little bit skinnier, but it's kind of creepy. Yeah, it, it's very, it's very creepy. You guys need to do a collab. Uh, oh yeah, see, that's why I didn't even mention it. Disney, but they are expensive. Yeah, I mean, you gotta, in my opinion, if you're gonna go Disney cruise. Chances are the people that are doing the Disney cruises are already kind of like Disney World people. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that it's, it's like across the board that way. But that's just what I've known. Somebody living in Florida, usually the people that I've talked to, and this is primarily, I guess, Florida residents, if you want to put it that way. If they're doing Disney cruises, because Disney cruises, as you can imagine, yeah, um, they're both, ex in a way, can be pretty pricey for, let's say, a, I don't know, a middle class family, right? Usually people are going to Disney World first and then they're going to the Disney line, but it just depends. If you like Disney, it'd probably be a good family time for you. And let's say for the kids, it's probably good for them. I'm just saying that I'm not, I haven't done one yet. So maybe I'm just, I'm just talking out of my, out of the side of my neck. I just haven't done it and it's I not really like on. Yeah, I would like to, but it's not on my list of, I'm not get, trying to get blown away. Like again, I, I see it and I, when I saw the prices again, it's $7,000 for three days. I, I would hope that the family would have a good time. I would. I haven't heard bad things about families going, but it's kind of one of those things that it's Disney. You're going to pay similar to a, a premium to otherwise, go there with family. Otherwise, you leave the kids at home and you go on Virgin Voyages. Oh, there we go. Yeah, no. <laughs> For a family cruise, a solo, Virgin or NCL? Mm. It depends on, if, if you care about your accommodations, I would say NCL for sure. They have the best deals out. I don't think there's a question about it. For solo cruisers, they have balconies, they have ocean views. No other cruise line is giving those rates out. They may have some deals every now and then that's, let's say, a, a decent deal for you to take. But NCL is, without a doubt, at least from what I have seen, the best for solo cruising. If you want to go and maybe have a little bit of a party and you know the vibe on Virgin Voyages, then obviously the solo cruiser, you can have a good time there too. Apparently, I look like Jesse J. Yeah, it's true. I, yeah, I said that. You like Jesse J. I don't look like Jesse yeah. Do I look like Jesse J? You do. Yeah, you, you look like you look like Jesse J. You do. See, oh, who asked my mom? Yeah, my mom, she misses Tampa. Yeah. No, she moved. So <clears throat> most she of you went back to, to here. She's in she's in California with my brother. Oh yeah. Uh, so yeah, I took my mom on a cruise to Seattle two years ago and she fell in love with Seattle and she decided she wanted to move. I told her don't move. She didn't listen. She went over to Seattle for, I kid you not, a couple weeks and decided it wasn't what she thought it was. And I said, okay, look, I have one gin. And so but then she got caught up with a job over there and then had to, you know, she's moving over. She's over with my brother over in California and, and that's, that's the situation now. So, yeah, but, I mean, she's doing all right. She's doing all right. Uh, let's see. Best credit card for reward points or points for cruises. Look, I'm not a credit card expert. 
I'm actually a couple years into the credit card game, and I know there's people that are probably more knowledgeable on it than me, and I know there are also going to be people that have their preferences and biases. I don't want to get into it because <laughs> I know if I name any card, someone's like, oh, no, the, the, the Sapphire is better. And it, that's, that's usually how it goes. I'm not going to get into the credit card thing. People have their favorites, and I can tell you guys straight up, I'm not afraid to say what I don't know. I'm not some super knowledgeable person. I'm not a, a master has, at travel credit cards. He already has to teach me what is the credit card because I, I, we don't have credit card in France. This is pretty Yeah, yeah, Lauren knows nothing about it. I have to kind of teach her the basics of it. We just then. have debit cards in France, okay? No <laughs> credit card. The credit is bad <clears throat> in France, like real bad. You don't get credit at all. Yeah. Uh, question, on, on the breakaway next month, is the Sky Vodka Lounge worth the price? Mm, I mean, obviously, what anybody else would say, if, if, it's, if it fits your budget, obviously, yes. It depends. But if you feel like, let's say for you, you're going above and beyond and you're kind of already on the fence about it, maybe, maybe not. It's kind of one of those things that if you, you haven't done it before, maybe you take the chance, maybe you love it. But, you know, when it comes down to these preferences, when people talk about lounges and suites and all this stuff and you ask if it's worth it, it, it will come down to... Obviously, a personal opinion. If you ask 100 people, hey, what cruise line is better, Carnival or Royal Caribbean, you probably get 50 different answers. You know how that happens between two different lines. Everybody's going to give their perspective, and everybody's going to talk about, oh, well, this is better, this is better. That's just what it is. Yeah. But I would say if you have the money to do it, and it's within your budget, then by all means, why not? You might find out you absolutely love it. You might find out you hate it, but at least you know at that point. If it's money that you're saying, okay, I can take a risk on it, then by all means, do it. Somebody saying chase uh, 5%. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. There's, but there's a million different travel cards you can use. Mm -hmm. uh, people don't realize the weather in Seattle can be crazy. Yes, it can. Yes, it can. Absolutely. Uh, question, are you, are you planning on going on the Sun Princess? Curious on your take. I would like to at some point. What is the Sun Princess? It's uh, Princess Cruise's new ship. It's, it's over in Europe right now. Oh, okay. I would like to. I mean, I don't know if I'm going over to Europe this year. I know it's going to reposition at some point. I forgot exactly when. Uh, isn't it going to what? California? I'd have to double check. I might. I might have to. <clears throat> Excuse me. Wait, I'm like, where is Lauren going? I'm going to San Francisco for a week. Yeah, she's going brother. for a week. She's going to leave me here all by my lonesome. No, which is fine because I need to get back on track. Uh, by the way, I'm going to start He's posting happy. on my... Uh, He's really I'm happy. not happy. He's really it's, happy that I'm leaving. I can sit here in my man cave and make videos, which is something I need to do. I got to get on it. We got to get back to the original formula. It's time. Mm -hmm. It's time. Uh, love y'all content and regarding cruises. Let's see what happened to, with Lauren. Oh, we already said that. Okay. Yeah, Lauren just she's going over to California for a I'm week. I'm just making content, okay? Yeah, I need yeah, to yeah. make content over the US. <laughs> I love your channel. Hope to book my very first cruise, Royal Caribbean, by the end of this year. Have you been to Mr. Sancho's in Cozumel, New Mexico? Yes, I have. I have been. Yes, yes. Everybody, you know what? I don't I, like Mr. Sancho's. See, I wouldn't say that. I, 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 I say I, it. I, I, I don't wouldn't. care. I'm straightforward. I don't like Mr. Sancho's. To me, it's yeah. fake food, fake music, fake drink, and I don't like I it. I would say, but for, let's I say, a, like a, a, a typical cruiser. Stay on the cruise if you to drink this kind of drink. Yeah, but for a typical, <laughs> for a typical cruiser that wants to just kind of have some drinks and not have to worry... Well, yeah. still on the cruise, it will be cheaper. Yeah, what's the other one that y'all go to? I'm it's... sorry, guys. Yeah, sorry, sometimes I, I'm like too stressed for words. I'm trying to think. I was just I was just passing by there the other day when I was in, well, a couple weeks ago when I was in Cosmo. I don't, I don't like um, the sunshine. What's the other one? Somebody tell me. What's the other? Something beach, I think. What's the other one next to Mr. Sancho's that everybody goes to? I'm having a brain fart right now. Playa de Carmen? No, no, no. Paradise Beach. Thank you. Paradise Beach. Uh, no, no, Paradise no. Paradise Beach. No, people either go to Mr. Sancho's. Or, I get it. I would say, yeah, if you want to go turn up a little bit and you want to be where everybody on the ship is at, then sure. But I always say, Cosmo is one of my favorite ports. I don't care how stereotypical it is. There's non-touristy things to do. There's touristy things to do. Good bang for your buck. There's a million things to do in Cosmo. Speaking of which, Royal Caribbean. And I got to make a video about this. because Let's just get out of hand what? now. Royal Caribbean is, is building a, a private beach. Over um, uh, in Cozumel. They, they, want, they want all the doubloons. No they want all way. the monies. They want all of it. Yeah, they do. So <coughs> now they're going, the ship going only to, to get over there. Yeah. Look, somebody said you're the French version of them. <laughs> of course. Well, you have to be straight. I'm, so, I'm sorry. I'm not sugarcoating anything. Yeah. Uh, let's see. I uh, heard they have tre cheap watered-down drinks. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but you, it's something you get what you pay for. If you get all the food and drink, to, you can eat and drink to your heart's content for, for 60, 70 bucks. What do you expect? What do you expect? Question about excursions. Is there somewhere that I can purchase excursion for my cruise other than the cruise line that is more cost effective? Yeah. I mean, you can always do your research and look at the port, right? There's plenty of companies around there. 
Um, if you don't want to wait last minute, you got Viator, for example. There's, there's, there's options. You can literally you so make your own schedule. Yeah, Just yeah. be careful with the timing because the cruise ship will live without you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, so like, let's say I, I've booked with Viator a couple times. They're, they're pretty good. They're really good, actually. And even when you, if you go on their app, they will literally ask you what ship are you on. They'll confirm the time that it arrives. They confirm the time that it leaves. And then even when I met up with them, if I'm doing an excursion outside of the cruise line, I will always, and call it nerdy or whatever, I will confirm with the, the tour operator what time my ship leaves and what time we will be back. And if you want to go deeper, and if, let's say you're paranoid about it. You could just ask them, hey, look, if, if X, Y, and if our boat gets a hole in it, do you have a contingency plan to get us back? You can ask these kind of questions. And if they are reputable and they're doing what needs to be done professionally, they have the answers for you. And then you possibly save some money, too, and you're not stuck with the people that you've been stuck with on the ship. So, yeah, it's just an idea. I'm not leaving the U.S., guys. I'm just leaving home for a week. I'm just seeing it's pretty sad. But at the same time, he's happy that I'm leaving. So I'm not happy. It's, it's nice that I can just kind of sit around in my underwear and focus on, on some work. Lauren's not leaving the U.S. No, she's going to California. Uh, let's see. Somebody asked something. Uh, what, what is this about the cool the, the kids club? I would just say, look, every every industry has a cool kids yeah. club. And I'm not, I'm not speaking in terms of like the, the, the cruise ship industry. There are favorites. There are, let's say, content creators that are able to kind of get in the circles that, let's say, somebody like me is not because I'm not willing to be like an influencer and only say what needs to be say it, said so I can get free cruises. Not really my style. I could probably make more money. I would. Would. <laughs> Definitely would. Save a lot of money. But I don't know. I just, I, I can't. Maybe in another industry, maybe the airlines, I'll, I'll sucker up to them and say, hey, you know what? I want first class because I have you it. Can, you can try with airlines. <laughs> They're not easy on this yeah, one. Yeah, good luck. Oh, you better do exactly what Jay's saying. You're talking about the excursions? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm saying, if you guys, I am personally in full support of booking a cruise, or booking an excursion, rather, outside of the cruise line, uh, because you can potentially save money. You can maybe get a more detailed or potentially better experience. Just do your research and confirm when you're going to be coming back. Confirm with the operator when your ship leaves. That way you have all the, the details crossed out, and there's no worry. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry, guys, for the cough. I, just, I, I was sick a couple days ago. Uh, let's see. She better stop it before it starts off topic, but all the ladies see it. Stop what? Oh. I don't know. Teresa, what do you mean? Stop what? So Somebody asked what type of mm -hmm. uh, any hotel recommendation around the port to get on Virgin Voyages. I think the Gabriel is not a bad idea. Yeah. Hold on, uh, around the port. Yeah, look, I, I like the Gabriel. The Gabriel is nice. Yeah, no, you I have think... a cool, like, a rooftop pool and a... And a yeah. And, and, and so if you, if you, if you go to the, the Gabriel, nice. and it's a Hilton, it's a Hilton property. Gym is nice. Food's nice. Restaurant inside. And there's a pool where you got the perfect view of the, the Virgin Voyages terminal. And cruise port. Yeah. So it's, it's beautiful. It really is. I you would literally recommend the have the Virgin ship in front of it. It's yeah. crazy. You're not a sellout, Jay. No, that's right. We ain't selling out around here. However, like I said, there's a game to be played, right? I'm not bashing the lines. I'm not trying to blame anybody when there's an issue, unless it's like blatantly, blatantly, blatantly a, a mess up on the cruise line's fault. You got to see, like, I, I try to kind of have you guys read between the lines on a lot of things for that reason. Not trying to get sued either. So it's kind of like, eh, there, there's, there's a balance. There really is. See, uh, thoughts on celebrity versus royal. Celebrity is nice. I really like celebrity. I really like celebrity. I, I get why people. Oh, wow, I got on celebrity shirt right now. Yeah. Uh, celebrity, celebrity is great. I would say it is. If you want, let's say, Royal Caribbean treatment without, with less kids, practically no kids, and you want a little bit more slightly sophisticated version, let's say it's, it's premium, right? So it's a step up. It's not luxury, but it's premium. Uh, celebrity is the way to go. I like celebrity a lot. Shows are amazing. Food is amazing. The ambiance is great. It really is. And there's, no, there's really no kids on board. It's nice. Uh, question. You have uh, Scuba Dove and Bimini this season. I haven't. Until the end of May, uh, they have Hammerhead Safari. Really? Well, I got to get the Bimini. Yeah, I've, I've, been, I've been looking to do a dive trip. Right now, I'm just focused on trying to get my channel on back, back on track, making sure my family's good, making sure Lauren's good, she's adjusting. And yeah, I'm definitely taking a, a dive trip as soon as everything kind of consolidates and calms down a little bit. He has to dive on other things first. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Jay, you, uh, you and Lauren will do a cruise out of Sydney when she can. Yeah, I, I, I've been I trying for two years. To go to Australia I've been trying for two years to get to, uh, I, a cruise out of Australia. I have, I have family in Australia. That's why I don't mm. want him to go in Australia without me because I have family over there. Really? You, yeah. You've never told they me. They have that. two bakeries. Oh. 
Yeah. I'm a big you never told me that. What do you think of Azamara from uh, Dundee Scott? I haven't done Azamara. I mean, at some point, I, I do want to try to maybe dive a little bit more into these other lines that maybe, I'm not saying they're not so m much more popular. They, they obviously have, of course, their own clientele and maybe they're a little bit more pricey. So that's why they're not in the main loop with all the other, the MSCs and the Royal Caribbeans. I will try them at some point. And I want to go over to the UK too and try some of those, uh, those lines over there as well. Mm -hmm. I think it'd be cool. Let's see. Uh, please give Galveston a second chance. Yeah, look, I, I will at some point, but Galveston, it, it didn't do it for me. What I, do you have to do in Galveston besides the cruise port anyway? I mean, the do people there. Like, are... Do you have like, I heard, no, I heard it's like a, a it's... port town pretty beautiful. That's what and, I, mean. I mean, when I went there, there was fog all over the place and people were telling me, don't, everybody, don't go in the water, don't go in the water. Think of like the Hudson River, there's dead bodies in the water. I'm like, what? what? Yeah, apparently, or it's like, they said it was dead bodies and there's a bunch of sewage in the water. So you, like the, the gray water, you shouldn't touch it. Is that true? Somebody from Texas let me know. I know we got some Texas, what? Some, some, some Texans people in here, some star people out here. What, what's the deal with the, the, the water over in Galveston? Is that true? Should you not go in it? Let's see, uh, travel insurance has been crazy out there lately. Yes, uh, who, who do you use? Uh, what is that, uh, Allianz? Use Allianz, they're good. Allianz Simple. Is, is good yeah. anywhere in the world. Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. That's, that's usually, I would say if you're gonna go mainstream, right, you don't have your own like private provider somewhere, then yeah, go Allianz, it's, it's, it's good. Just left Galveston yesterday, yeah, Port sucks. Yeah, the people are friendly over there, but I mean, there's not a lot going on over there. Not a lot. A uh, question, have you considered doing co uh, collaborations with other cruise channels? Yeah, I've considered it, but like I said, I, I know, and I hate to put it this way, again, I don't care, it's cool, uh, th but there is a club, and I don't, I don't think I'm in it, <laughs> to be honest, I'm, I'm fine with it, but I don't think I'm in the cool kids club. That's, that, that was what I was he talking about in the video. He with me, but he doesn't like speaking French, so. Yeah, I, I don't, look, I don't mind, look, we, uh, we got to start our classes when you get back then. Well, we got the, the headphones, right, and there's, there's always dueling, though. Oh, yeah, though. the time, the time cattle, guys, I gotta, well, it's, a, it's, it's important. Yeah, but I mean, I don't. I, I've, well, somebody sent me these <laughs> earphones that literally with AI translate directly. Yeah. Like, I speak French, he hear French, he reply, he responds in English, and mm -hmm. I hear in English. It's just like crazy. Yeah. What's well, the question? Why not put together any more group cruises? I want to. It's a lot of work. I think for now, let's say for the next couple months, I mean, I, it's, it's definitely down the pipeline, especially now with Lauren here to help me out with this kind of stuff. Right now, I want to stabilize my channel. Because if you guys know, for the past couple months, Things have been like this, right? We need to stabilize uh, our life first. Yeah, and yeah. And then the channel, and then. Yeah, so I mean, I want to stabilize. I want to get both my, ch well, technically, well, you really, I got three channels, but my two channels where it's kind of like news and like travel news, I want to get those up and running. Maybe hire, I, I really need to. I got people that I've talked to, but I need to officially hire maybe like a full time editor. Mm -hmm. I've been saying it for like a year now. I need to go ahead and do it, uh, get that stuff out of the way so I could, uh, you know optimize better and then I can start focusing on all of the other little giblets they need to collaborate with you yeah, yeah. cruise yet have you taken your son on cruise yet no you were supposed to yeah I, I was that's that's a complicated look I'll just say it guys baby mama drama all right it's it's unfortunate I, I try to do what I can you know I take my son to school every day we talk about traveling and stuff and talk about plans but you know, I don't know. We'll have to wait for, for a little bit, unfortunately. But I'm trying to figure it out. He wants to learn how to scuba dive, too. Uh, yeah, that's something that, that, unfortunately, is kind of beyond my control at this point. But that, that's something that's, that's definitely down the pipeline, for sure. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Uh, question. Would you do another collab with JoJo and G? Yeah, yeah. Of course I would. Yeah. We, we uh, already, you already did. We yeah, did, yeah, we yeah, did yeah. Kind of. We did lots with them. I think just right now, I'm trying to have a little bit more calmer approach to, to the content. I, I really want to kind of hammer down, right? It's like, I'm older now. I'm not trying to just go party and stuff like that. And I'm not saying that Jojo and G don't. But I know when, when, when the boys get together, as you could imagine, <laughs> it's, it, especially... And that's why I have to stay around because... No, if I'm, but I mean, and you, fit, you factor in the, the, the fact that all of us are content creators. There's three cameras out trying to get content out. It just, it, it's difficult. I'd rather personally, and they're cool guys, don't get me wrong, I'd rather hang out with, with three other people that are not content creators, because even now, when her and I are going somewhere, and we both got, like, I, I'm not somebody that keeps my camera with me everywhere I go, she knows that. I do. I, yeah, she does. <clears throat> and if I, on my phone for now. if I need to record something, now we're both like, oh, but I want to get this moment, no, I want to get it, and now it's this, it's, 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 it's a lot. 
But fortunately, and that's also why I'm not making co full content in English, mm -hmm. my content, especially when we're on cruise ship, like his content is coming first, obviously, and my content is coming second, so I know how to voice over everything mm -hmm. to make it like look pretty and to say everything that I need to say. So we work together pretty well on that. But, yeah, I don't know if I would do exactly the same thing than you if you would work. Yeah, exactly. So I said, uh, favorite excursion in Jamaica in Grand Cayman? Uh, I mean, in Jamaica, I got places uh, that I, I typically go the to. Old, the old guy that brings you to, yes. uh, to hills whenever <laughs> it's raining hard, to have a beautiful yes. view of the ship and there, eat some coconut water. There's an old mystical it's, man that I always seem to run into over there. I've been running to him for years, even back when I worked for Norwegian. And then even after the pandemic, he's still there. Uh, the Blue Hole is nice to go to Jamaica. Make sure you know how to swim. And I'm not trying to make a joke out of this because there was a real situation where there was a man last year didn't know how to swim, for some reason decided to jump off of the waterfall into the, the blue hole, and he drowned. Like, I, it's not a joke. I, I try to tell people this stuff all the time. You got, he drowned? He didn't know how to swim, and he jumped off of the waterfall. He jumped off of the cliff into the waterfall. He doesn't understand the pressure of the waterfall is coming down, and it, it freaks you out. If you're not a strong swimmer, or if you don't understand that you got to let the water kind of push you down before you swim out, you freak out, you exhaust yourself trying to swim against the waterfall that's coming down the down pressure, and you drown. I would have. I would that have happened. Drowned. That was a thing. I would have drowned. I made a video on it. Maybe you guys remember, but the, yeah, yeah. Blue Hole, uh, Grand Cayman. I like to go scuba diving over there. It's nice, except when we're not being followed mm. by, by barracudas. <laughs> yeah, so. <laughs> so I said, yeah, that big mama drama is no joke. Yeah, I mean, I do what I can. Like, my, it, it is what it is. There's only so much. My son understands, he knows what I do. I, I get up every morning, take him to school, we talk, we go, we go eat some Chipotle and some. some Mr. and Mrs. Crab, he loves it, you know, and then even now, he wants to train for sports. Now that he has, what, three more weeks from his surgery that he got, stomach surgery to heal up, and then he wants to get ready for soccer season again, so, yeah. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, You'll be a great extra man dance partner on an older cruise set. My <laughs> dance partner does free cruises. No hey, look, I, I'm back to, look, Lauren knows I'm training every day right now. I'm not going to lie to y'all. Maybe some of somebody pointed it out. I was on a cruise. Said, that, that, that's cruise look, partner. It's not like breaking partner. I, I know, but still, I was on, when I was on the, uh, what was that, celebrity um, reflection, guy comes up to me. He's like, Jay, you know, you're putting on a little weight. And I said, no, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> it, yeah, it hurt my feelings a the little bit. cruise ship pizza. Yeah, so, but Lauren, I've been going, look, I go to the he gym. He says that it's my fault, me while I'm a thousand miles away, working out all the time. You're cooking all the time, you're trying to fatten me up. I cook pretty <laughs> healthy, you're trying to eat chipotle every day. I, I Look, I love my chipotle, but I, look, if I eat like one meal a day, it's not that big of a but deal. But that's not healthy. It, yeah, it is, there's, there's a way to do it. I snack, you know, that eat healthy fats healthy. and you pistachios. Need, there's a formula to you it. You need to eat more healthy. It's a, look, I'm, but still, we're, we're starting to look better now, right? Six pack Thanks coming back. Thanks to who? I just remember look, uh, two weeks ago. To me, it was I did it, but I did it. I did it. No, I, I cook. Okay. I did it. Look, I got my pull-up bar right in the room. I've been using it. And I go to the gym every day. I go to the gym every day. You skipped, you skipped like two days this week. You know what I'm talking about? You did. You did. Anywho. Anyway, on to the next. On to the next. <laughs> Excuse me. You see like the French uh, <laughs> skewing like. Uh, what, what, do you, what, what do you do? Collaborations, mentoring with new cruise travel content creators. Yeah, I wouldn't say mentoring. People can hit me up. I mean, the thing is, like, I would say maybe reach out to me, right? I, I get a lot of messages, but if people want some advice, I, don't, I have no problem doing a call with people at all. They want to know how it all works. There's plenty of people that I'm like, hey, look, just do this and this and this, or what kind of content you want to make. You want some advice. Uh, I got it for you. Hey, whoa. Hold on, it was French. Where? Bienvenue en Amérique, Lorraine. Mes premiers mois en Amérique ont été durs lorsque j'ai quitté la Guyane, mais maintenant, je ne pourrai plus vivre ailleurs dans le monde. Garde la force. So welcome to America, Lorraine. My first couple of months here in America was hard whenever I left uh, Guyana, but now I couldn't see myself anywhere else in the world. Stay strong. <laughs> yeah, look, Lauren, Lauren's got a lot to learn about the US. Rentre, te rentre, te so do you think your parents will come to visit you? Um, to be honest, I'm going to reply in English. Uh, to be honest, I would love to. My dad already came here once. He went on a cruise on MSC Seascape with us last year. Uh, was pretty nice, but my mom uh, and my brothers, they're still like studying. My One of my brothers is in Berkeley right now, so pretty cool. But other than that, I don't think they have the money to come over and see me because, well, it's, it's a little bit expensive. Fine, I'll do it. Florida, it's We're flying little... them over first class. No, I got it. Justin, no. But the <laughs> thing is, the thing is, I'm serious. Um, my dad might probably come for Thanksgiving, something like that. 
My mom was supposed to come right now, but the thing is, we're definitely not ready to welcome her here at home for now. Mm -hmm. So we are waiting a little bit more. Hopefully, she might be able to come around summertime. But again, that would be No, we'll make it happen. Let me see. All right, let's get back to the questions. Sorry, it was kind of sadness for some reason. <laughs> like, I miss my family, guys, okay? Yeah. David Thompson, I think he hit, the, hit his head on something. Who, me? No, the guy, the guy that ran in the water. Oh, yeah, I think so. I think so. But I know Happy there's been... Happy weight, love weight. Love weight. Well, I was not around, so love weight from who? No, nah, I'm not going to lie to y'all. I was just on a lot. You guys know I was cruising a lot. And I was eating a lot of that cruise ship pizza. So you got some love cruise weight. No, not love cruise mm. weight. Some food weight. Mm -hmm. I was eating guys burgers every day. Because if I got to record, right? It, 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 it's hard. If I'm recording and I'm like, oh, I got to show in like 20 minutes... If I'm not planning that day to go to any, especially dining restaurants, I'll go get some pizza or get some, some burgers. And usually if I go to Guy's Burgers, I got to get two of them. It, it's difficult. Question, how often do you use the joking track on a cruise ship whenever <coughs> I'm going out of the party and I'm trying to find my room? Yeah, the only, <laughs> really, the only time I would say I've ever used the no. jogging track for some reason is if I go, if I'm in Alaska, I, use it I like the view. Any other time, once, it's not my thing. I use it once, and I think it was on the Wonder of the Seas because it was pretty big. Yeah, I'll use a treadmill. Usually, there, there are a lot of people, unless you're getting up early, there's too many people on the jogging track, and I like to kind of move. I'm not doing like a, you know, a power walk type deal. It's, it's, it's yeah, jog, jogging track's not really my thing on cruise ships. Y'all should hold something down in Florida or a cruise. Yeah, I, I mean, that, it's, it's in the works. However, right now, I told Lauren the same. We got to stabilize, for one, our, our situation here at home. Also, I want to stabilize the channel. Things. I'm glad. I, I started posting again. The videos have been doing phenomenal. We're going back full speed ahead. I also want to say, starting tomorrow, I'm going to go back to doing the tips and all that because, mm -hmm. yeah, the news is nice. And honestly, that is my quickest content to make. But we got to put some time into this thing. We're back to working 70, 80 hours a week. Wake up at 4 a.m. every morning. You know I can do it. Are you you know I can do it. Married? And I will. Are you guys getting married? I don't know what you're talking about. Are you guys all getting married? Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. Look, look uh, marriage has to... It, what, what, it, these things have to be surprises, okay? You guys can't just ask, well, yeah, actually, I'm well, gonna, basically, we're getting married Well, basically, with the K-1 visa, we have to get married within 90 days. Don't tell them that. Now they're, gonna, now they're not going to stop. What? No, but basically, we are not doing... Can I explain? We're not <sighs> doing any ceremony for now because, obviously, it's a big budget, like, renewed... Ren, re, Putting my family on a plane to come to the U.S. or putting Justin's family on a plane to come to France. Meanwhile, most yeah. of them, they don't have any passport. So it's pretty complicated. It's a complicated situation, expensive situation. So for now, no, we are not getting married the way you guys think. But we have to, in another way, for me to be able to stay with him. Yeah, like, all right, just think of it like married, but we're just... Getting the paperwork done for it. Yeah, eventually, sure. We're still together. Nobody, and... nobody in the world, in the universe knows when. But yeah, eventually, there, there'll be a, a wedding. I'm, I'm sure of it. If, if she doesn't annoy me, but you know, we'll see. Or maybe if, if, if she decides to tolerate me too, it can go either way. I yeah, think. it, it, it we'll will see. go either way. More yep. one way to another, to be honest. So yeah. Uh, anyway, uh, question. We are going on the reflection. Twenty nine days. What's your opinion on the ship? I like the ship. I, it, it looked like, to me, it felt like an older, and not in a bad way, right? It's like a, a pre-ascent. Like so you could see all the, the flavor and style of the, their newer ships, but you can kind of understand where the evolution came from, if that makes sense. They still have the same systems. They still have the same restaurants. Only difference is you can see where it was like, okay, maybe there's not enough room to have the Grand Plaza there. Instead, I forgot what, what they had over there. But it's a smaller, like, area. A lot of the areas are smaller here and there. But it's the same formula for the most part. And honestly, I think it's a better ship to navigate around. Think of, like, if you've been on, like, a Freedom Class with Royal Caribbean or uh, Royal Caribbean Freedom of the Seas or, let's say, Anthem of the Seas. It's a good size. Mm -hmm. So, hold on. Uh, what was the most luxurious cruise you went on? I think the one in Antarctica. Luxurious? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah, Antarctica. It was a luxury expedition cruise. Let me see. Uh, question: Did you pay fifty thousand dollars to get the green card? <laughs> Does she look like she got fifty thousand dollars? No, hold on. <laughs> did you pay? <coughs> They're asking uh, if you she, paid me. Did she pay you fifty thousand mm. dollars? Yes, actually. To marry you. Yes, she paid me. No, it's actually sixty thousand. She paid me for the green card. Plus the tip. Yeah, plus the tip. Yeah, yeah. That's how it went down. Domestic partnership. 
Yeah, I mean, to, to a certain extent. That's 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 not even a certain extent. In, in favor. That's exactly what it is. Yeah. Why we just doing parts of our shit? Now? No, it's it's no. It's like when you when you're when you're married, but it's like without all the bells and whistles and all the other crazy stuff that goes into, it, especially like a modern day marriage now. You're, it, it's like a domestic partner, but I like usually I thought domestic partners like involved. without all of the paperwork and let's say the government being involved. But you guys get the point. We got to get that stuff out of the way. So that's just kind of the process of it all. And also we have like the 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 clock is ticking, so we don't have a lot of time to prepare and get things ready yeah. the way we want. Let's see. Uh, heading on a, a Holland America cruise. Have you done England to Canada route? Yeah, uh, we were out of New York. I used to do that route when I was working for Norwegian Cruise Line, and uh, it's 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 more calm for sure. Good food. It's nice. New England, go well watching. I never got the chance up there in, uh, where, where did we stop at? I forgot what it was even. Uh, uh, Bar Harbor. Bar Harbor, Maine. If you get a chance, go well watching over there. Could complete my mission for me. I tried three times and it rained every time and it got canceled. It was horrible. Do you recommend Virgin Voyages? Uh, no, no, no. They said, oh, somebody, yeah, there's two Virgin. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I like Virgin. I really do. I love Virgin. They got some things they got to work on, for sure. I love uh, Virgin. Would you ever go on Virgin Galactic? I would. I would not in a rush, right? Let them work out some kinks first. I'm not trying to to get dead in, in, in space, huh. right? Uh, how do you feel about bigger ships such as Harmony of the Seas? Do you think bigger ships are harder to enjoy with too many people on board? Uh, I mean, I think there's a lot of factors. I enjoy them, yes. However, it, the, the caveat to this, and I guess the problem, let's put it that way, the problem with with the mega ships is that if you were somebody that is kind of like, eh, I want to do a little bit of everything. You can't. You look at like icon of the seas, right? If you're sure, if you're a gambler, yeah, you can enjoy the casino. If you're a sunbather, you can enjoy. If you like the shows, you can indulge and enjoy for the most part, except for the diving show because they only run it like twice. I think hopefully they changed that by now. But my point is like, if you're somebody that wants to kind of dibble and dabble in a little bit of everything, a week is not enough. Mm. You'd have to go back, and that's kind of I think low key in a way like the gimmick of the the mega ships. That's why you see a lot of people, they'll go on Harmony of the Seas like three times and four times or whatever because there's so much to see and do. And yeah, it's a high ticket item more than let's say a smaller ship, but that's kind of like the give about it that I don't really care much for. And the fact that yes, but being that there's just so many people on board trying to do certain activities or even trying to have some type of intimate feel to get to know people. Yeah, it's it hard. ain't happening. It's pretty hard. <laughs> it ain't happening. You're going to be on the last day of the cruise and still seeing hundreds of people that you've never seen before in your life and you're wondering when they got on board. Look, <coughs> can y'all last in the same cabin before you guys are ready to make each other One day. the plank? No, a few hours. Ah! A few hours. 30 minutes. If we're talking about a cruise day, because look, look, here's the thing, right? I don't think we've really taken a cruise where we just sat down and enjoyed. I think maybe somewhat of MSC Opera when we were in Europe years ago. Uh, if, if we're on a cruise and I got to work and she got to work, I'm already kind of like stressed out because like, okay, usually you guys know I pay for like 99% of my cruises. If I just paid $7,000 for a cruise, it's like, all right, now I got to do this video and maybe I'll do a live if it's an inaugural and then I got to do this and then I got to actually look around the ship and see what there is to offer. So I don't look like an idiot. I can do all the, the research on a ship that I want, but if I haven't physically gone around the ship to see what amenities and features Corks and features, huh? uh, what is that, Doug, Doug Moreno? Or Moreno? Mm -hmm. Anyway, corks and features that it has to offer, then it's very difficult. So there's so much that goes into the inner workings on top of that. She's seen. I also got to navigate being on a ship while running into people that want pictures and want to hang out, which I have no problem with, but now I'm running around like a chicken with my head cut off, and then so is she. So now we're both irritated. Well, not even irritated. We're both stressed out, and we have a lot to get done, and now we're just like this. Like, oh, yeah, I want to I get a drink. Oh, but I got to get this work done. It, 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 a couple hours at most, I can deal with her in a cabin on a cruise. A couple hours at most. That's why we always like spread out. On yeah, cruise. yeah, yeah. And don't, guys, don't take that so seriously, by the way. It's not, that's not the reason why I'm cruising by myself a lot of the times. So just obviously financially no, and looking at everything and her living in France up until this point, it's, it's Obviously, a lot. and guys, we're like used to be without each other. Like, mm -hmm. we have our own habits. And to be honest, like, yeah. When, especially on a cruise, he's working, I'm working, like we, we're not like going to be on vacation. So yeah. we, we prefer to spend some time of the day together, like lunch and dinner mm -hmm. and, uh, and nighttime. But the rest of the day, we're just like, yep, spread very out. true. Yeah, we're running around a lot. Uh, best party cruise. Hmm. Depends on what kind of party yeah, you want. Definitely. Virgin's good. Carnival's definitely good. MSC is good. Uh, Royal Caribbean, hit or miss, depending on the ship. Go on uh, Freedom on the Seas, good party. It depends on what you want. 
it's kind of hard to narrow it down because let's say if you want a more sophisticated party, right, there's other lines that will do that. If you want something that's a little in between, there's other lines like Celebrity that will offer that to you. Except for when I was on Celebrity Reflection, man, those people were getting it. Eight day cruise, there were people, old ladies in there break dancing, it was great. Oh yeah, I remember yeah. this one. Let's see, yeah, yeah, um, best party cruise, carnival and virgin, short cruise, do a normal back to back for short. Yeah, that's true. Or Virgin is not my uh, Virgin's not bad. Royal Caribbean Short Cruise it can be hit or miss. Usually pretty good though. Uh, Freedom of the Seas, not bad. Uh, question: When will the cruise ship size peak, or will they continue to get bigger? There'll always be somebody pushing the envelope for size. Always. I don't think that's ever gonna I slow think, down. I think it's a bad uh, thing because them, realistically, them. the only peak would be the capacity in which the port can hold the ship. And now you have this era of private islands and all that. I, I don't think it's gonna. It's not gonna end. Right, the ships are whatever whatever technological advances that are coming about that will allow for the ship to be built and be stable. They will continue. I think there will be a point where the era of the mega ship calms down a bit, but uh, it, it'll probably be we're probably about half a decade out for that. I think personally, at least at least half a decade. Because look at the ships that are already set to be built by Carnival, Royal Caribbean. We're at minimum half a decade out before that era starts to come in. Mm -hmm. Oh, is she officially here now to stay. Yeah, she is. She is. I uh, just want to say uh, thank you, Jay. I appreciate your content. I appreciate you watching. Thank you. Yeah, you guys, I know I've been, I've been wishy-washy. I've been in and out, inconsistent. But I appreciate you guys for showing up to the videos. It really does mean a lot. You have no idea. Now I don't have to go work at Walmart and be a janitor again. Don't miss those times at all. Let's see. Uh, which cruise line has the best prices for single? NCL. NCL. Hands down. Let's see. Uh, does Carnival need a 200 uh, gross ton ship to compete with Royal? Or do you like the idea of Royal and Carnival being different? First of all, <clears throat> Carnival got other problems. Carnival has an inconsistency issue. Uh, Carnival also needs to focus on uh, other things, right? You, you shouldn't just flat out keep trying to compete, right? Because now you're playing this anchor measuring game of who can do what better. If either somebody's going to be one-sided and get smoked, they're going to be dusted and beat, banned to the shadow realm forever, or it's going to be back and forth. Oh, I'm better at this. No, I'm better at this. It's a game that is, it never ends. Why play it? There are some cruise lines out there that do something really, really well. If you look at, let's say the German line. Uh, what is that? Um, I'm having a brain fart right now. Uh, starts with an A. I can't even think of it right now. But there's, there's a line, they're not even, they're in their own lanes. It's probably gonna come up to me in a minute. But anyway, they're in their own lane. And they just, they just kind of do their own thing. They're not trying to, oh, we're gonna go compete with the X, Y, and Z. They're like, well, we're gonna be specifically for people that speak German and we're gonna go that way and that's gonna be it. Thank you, Aida. Yes, thank you. Sorry, long day. I eat them. So it just, it just, it depends. Everybody has their lane. I don't think the cruise lines need to necessarily, yeah, there's going to be some that are in the same lane, so to speak, but you got to find that thing that sets you apart. I think Carnival dropped the ball on that. I've, I've made a video about it when I went on the Carnival Jubilee. Very disappointing. Carnival used to have style and personality and now they're all the same. Yeah, I, I, <laughs> excuse me. Sorry again for the guy, the cough guys. I've, I've been sick for the past like three days. We're just, we're coming back. Uh, what's your opinion on Carmel Vista if you have one? I haven't been on the Vista. I've been on a Vista class. And I guess technically like the Venezia and all that, it's, it's in that genre somewhat. Uh, nice ships. Nice ships. Uh, how is it, the new job going as a travel agent? Busy. Uh, right now, I've been more so prioritizing getting my channels back online. I've told you guys before, that, that is going to be the priority. I don't want to make it seem like, oh, I'm going to just be a full-time travel agent. Not my bag. It's nice working with people. However, Right, I already have something that works in my YouTube channels, and I do like to talk on YouTube and give people advice. That is never going to take a back seat to the travel agency. Not, not really my thing. Unless I get to a point where I can't speak, or I'm, I guess, at, at a point where I want to retire from YouTube, which I don't see that happening anytime soon, then no, that's not going to happen. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> Part-time listener here, what's your opinion on the future of travel agents who work from home? I think it'll continue to grow. Uh, it just it depends on situations and what people's personal preferences are. It's a good way to go. Uh, it just depends on who you're with. And obviously, yeah, a lot of people are going to kind of jump around on what they like and what they don't like. Uh, what's your opinion? Oh, we were both on this one. What's your opinion on the Norwegian Viva? I went to the inaugural trip and saw you break dancing at Sid Norman's. <laughs> the, the Viva was fun. It was fun. I don't I, like I still think the layout. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm alright. Okay, you look you okay. You need I'm some just water. Listening. No, I'm missing Jimmy. Okay, alright, alright, okay. Take sure. Okay. Anyway, um yeah, the, the the Viva was cool. You liked the Viva, didn't you? The Viva was it was fun. I the layout of the ship to me is still a little wonky. Uh but it's it's a nice ship. It is a nice ship. The for pool sure. is small. Hmm? The yeah, pool is small. 
it, it doesn't flow very well. The shows were okay, but again, I was there when it was brand new. So I think a lot of things have changed. Prima Class, they're definitely trying to turn more in the direction of a premium line. I think that much is pretty obvious, and I think they're, they're like downsizing or something. Uh, it looks like it. But anyway, yeah, they, good, good class of ship. I still personally prefer the Breakaway class. Let's see. Do you think the Titanic replica will gain popularity and be worth the try? Oh, yeah, it's going to get popular, of course. Yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm going to get on that thing, too, for sure. Yeah. Why not? Why not? I mean, as long as they don't make the same mistakes, yeah, I'm sure they'll be... Yeah. Uh, my favorite part of yours is when you were on p and It's so different to the U.S. cruise. I did not like p and I will say that. I don't know if I'll be back. Yeah, I went on the P&O Iona. Oh, what a... It was very different. I told you about that. Yeah, I, I, it went... It's just not my bag. It seemed chill, right? Get some tea and all this stuff. It was nice. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it, it, it was very like it was very UK. I'll put it that way, right? It was cool, uh, but it wasn't my kind of cruise. Not at all. It, it was like a, a, a MSC mixed with like a carnival brand without the carnival. That makes sense. Like as far as the layout, because it is a carnival carnival corporation brand. Let's see, uh, question, when you went to New York, what did you, New York, did you use the subway, train station, or did you catch an Uber? Uh, I do both. I do a little bit of both. Usually, if, if I'm in Manhattan, right, it, it depends, really. I might catch a cab, but uh, it just depends on where you are. If I'm, if I'm with my sister and she's in Brooklyn, yeah, I'll, I'll take, I'm, sometimes I'll take the subway. I just kind of mix between the both, except at night, because you guys know the subway systems are at night over there. It's crazy. <laughs> Somebody's moody right now. They think you're moody. Are you huh? okay? You all right? You tired? No, you, I'm okay. Do you want some food? I'm huh? Okay, you want to get some, guys? some food after this? Some Chipotle after this? No. Oh <laughs> Please stop with the Chipotle. <laughs> Let me see. Somebody, who is this? Uh, what, what is this? Who's Bush Green? Did did you... What, did you do what? Did I do what? I'm, 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 stop blocking. I'm, I want to know did what they you said. Do I'm what? Uh, let's see. My parents have been married for 40 years and have never been on a cruise. And in July, we're going on the Carnival Conquest. Oh, oh, well, you, I well, like yeah. I like okay, to celebrate. I didn't, I didn't know what to do, but I've seen one of your vids, so thank you. Look, if any, everybody that's been on the conquest know about the conquest. I like the conquest. Did you? Yeah. That, that's, it was French type. Yeah, that's a, that. That there is a rambunctious cruise. There, you. Look, you guys are gonna have fun. All right, M. Jones, but the, watch the videos. I'm, and I know there were some people like, oh, he doesn't know he's talking about in that video. I think it's one of my most popular videos, right? But go look at, at, the, at the other pages on Facebook. and all. They all say the same thing I'm saying. It, it's a good time over there, but be, be prepared. Mm -hmm. Conquest is a good starter cruise. Yeah, yeah, it's a good, it's a good I like the layout. That, that class of ship had a, had a good layout. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Morella right. is much more British cruise line. It's like more like Carnival. Yeah, I know. I, I, where were we at when we saw Morella cruise? Um, was it uh, in Tenerife or something? Yeah, and I, I, saw one, I saw one in the Caribbean when I was on Celebrity Refle Reflection too. I want to check it out, but I, I want to go to the UK. A uh, four-day carnival cruise hits different. You best be ready to throw down. I agree. I agree. Yeah. And, I, and I, I'm not talking about fights. Yeah, sure. You get a little rowdy over there, too. That's, <laughs> that's for sure. But it just it depends, really. I mean, it's fun. It, it was fun. Definitely uh, one of my uh, most interesting cruises. Oldest cruise I was on was Sensation. Nice. Fortunately, it's not around anymore. Uh, true or false, Australia is, is wider than the moon. That's, uh, look, uh, don't ask me that. I, I would imagine not. But imagine, no. Some people say that, that Australia doesn't exist. <laughs> and some people say we have two moons in the on the planet. Yeah. Uh, question, how's the Ferenza? I want to try that one. And, uh, well, nobody knows how it is yet. That ship comes out this, this, uh, this month, which I still need to see if I can book. I, I'm, I'm, I've been invited to their uh, pre-cruise celebration the day before the inaugural. So I might, at, at minimum, I might just go do that. But I don't know about flying to L.A. just for like one day in Long Beach. We'll see. We'll see. But uh, anyway, guys, we got to get ready to get out of here. I'll take some last minute questions and we're going to go ahead and roll up out of here. I just wanted to get a, a live stream out for the week because Lauren's leaving tomorrow. I know you guys like when you guys like her more than I'm coming back. I'm coming back. It's fine. <laughs> Would you recommend being a travel agent in 2024? Yeah. I mean, it depends on what you want to do it for. There are a lot of there are people that I know that are travel agents. They just book for their friends and family. So they want to be able to get the, let's say, whatever rates that they're able to get. They want to be able to add up and, and be able to make certain deals. And if there is a group cruise, they can go ahead and organize it a little bit better. It depends on what you want, really. But yeah, just on your channel is on your lady. Yeah, she is. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Start off with a seven-day cruise. I don't know if I can go backwards. We have another one. Yeah, try it out. There's nothing wrong with, like, for me, my sweet spot is five to seven days. However, like a three-day cruise, 
If I want a getaway, it's nice. If I want a party, it's nice. If I want a cruise, it's not enough time. No. Mm-mm. But you know what I mean. If I want to actually have like a cruise, it's it's not. Uh, how's MSC? MSC's cool. MSC's it's it's not my favorite. I got my gripes about MSC. Not a bad party. A little weird on the party at the same time. Food is eh. Eh. Entertainment is eh. But still, not bad. You can't beat the deals. And the ships are beautiful. Do you feel lucky? I always feel lucky. I'm alive, aren't I? Uh, question, what's your favorite cruise excursion? Scuba diving. Uh, either jet skiing or scuba diving, hands down. But uh, yeah, thank you for answering my question and, have, and, and for the great content. Thank you so much, guys. Yeah, like I said, this week I'm going to be going full on. Uh, I got my other channel, my travel news channel. I'll be jumping on that tomorrow, and I have videos coming up. I'm trying to do, at least, I think, two videos tomorrow on, on ship life. I got to get a review. I've been trying to do it for weeks now, my review of my time on board. Norwegian breakaway. So, yeah, guys, I appreciate all of you. Make sure you hit that like button on your way out. We're going to get some Chipotle now. and uh, Yeah, we are. Well, why not? We're see. going to get some Zooey Kitchen. Zooey Kitchen. All right, we'll see. Anyway, guys, I appreciate all of you. I love all of you. And, well, we'll Take see you later. Take it easy. Stop saying that. It's my line. Bye, guys.